My sister doesn't know it yet. But this is going to go in her place. And it's got a bunch of random things in there that I might ask her to send me. Don't tell her. Here's the box. I don't even know what's in it. All right. Let's see what kind of junk is in here that I thought I might need at some point later on the trail. We'll see. Here's the Cthulhu crampons. Also, Cthulhu micro spikes. Oops. <laughs> uh, my pee bag. Oh yeah, these are important. These are liners for your, well not liners, these are shells for your gloves. They're waterproof so when it's you know, 40 degrees and raining, your hands don't freeze. Extra running shorts. Also Brooks. Same thing with the seam in the middle. Pack liner, I don't think I'll need that. Another one of these Evernew water bottles. I might actually just bring it with me so I can have two of these. So this might go in my gear bag. Thermal light reactor. It's supposed to add like 10 degrees. It's really cold. Meh. Oh yeah, my Snow Peak umbrella. It's very light, 5.1 ounces. Um, I'll give up my chrome umbrella for this, save three ounces. And it's smaller. What's this? Oh, my Petzl battery for my Petzl headlamp. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was I bought these stickers so they could put them on all my resupply boxes. It'd be easier to find. I forget how many there are. <laughs> Uh, anyway, but hopefully it makes it stick out and nobody else is using the same sticker. Er, Aquamira water tablets, just as backups. Extra notepads. These are more for taking notes than for journaling. Because I'll forget where I was and, I don't know, just nicer. Little, a few extra carabiners, some Z-Pax ones. A Merino wool shirt, short sleeve. A buff for, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why I put this here, this is like a little filter that you wear over your face to block smoke, I don't know. Titanium stakes, two CPAX ones. I actually have a bag full of stakes in case I need more stakes. I'll break at least one of that, probably break more than one. Extra hydration bladder. This is the dirty water bladder I use with the hose. So I thought I'd add another one in case I pop the other one. This is my rain jacket. It's the Z-Pax Virtus rain jacket. It's about 6.3 ounces. It's really nice. Oh, my Snow Peak stove. A variety of <laughs> water attachments. It looks like Sawyer squeeze attachments, water carriers. I probably won't need any, but I'll have to tell my sister what these things are. Backup tripod, I bought another one of these. It has a different head though, in case the other one breaks. Snow stakes, I thought about using one as a trowel, so I kept them in here. I might not ever need them. Extra toothbrush head for the toothbrush I'm bringing. Extra first aid supplies like lip balm, roll, roll aids, band aids, things like that. KT tape, extra. Come here. I don't know why this is in there. <laughs> it's a big dry bag. I used this as a food bag before. Um, I don't know. Extra Sawyer squeeze in case I need it. Oh, this is a sit pad I use. Here's an extra one. It's nice because it folds up, pretty small, and uh, I don't know if I'll need this, extra trash compactor bags. I might have her just send me one, uh, maybe one every thousand miles just to have them. Uh, repair tape, I, I think it's the Cuban fiber repair tape. Hmm. Here's some friction zone. It's the anti-chafing cream in a little one ounce bottle. This is a Elements Merino Wool. I 
I'll probably get this sent to me up at Canyon Meadows as well, just so I could have something dry and warm to wear. And I'll keep this in my trash can factor bag for emergencies. Here is a, it's like North by North is the company, but this is a Merino wool. It's about 40 inches by 40 inches. So it's basically like a Shema, except it's a tighter weave. And it's all Merino wool. So I'll have this swapped out to me maybe in mid-Oregon or North California. But it's pretty nice. It's really warm. It's Merino wool. You know, you know what Merino wool is. It's the antimicrobial. Keeps it from smelling much. And that's what we got here. Oh yeah. Sleeping pad repair kit. Necessary if you're bringing a blow up bag. Some more first aid miscellaneous things. I'll have to put more alcohol pads in here just in case. For your squeeze because I'm taking that Renovo move with me. So this I'll have her send up if I need it. There's a lot of carabiners here. I don't know why there's so many. I might need a couple. I doubt it though. And I forgot the biggest ones. So here's some more of my replacement gear. This is the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite. Small. It's only four feet long. So if you don't like your feet hanging off the bottom, you better not get it. It is crinkly. And it's warm and comfortable. Except for your feet hanging off the bottom. It just, you gotta blow it up and there's a good repair job. Well, not good, but there's a repair job there. Hopefully it'll last the rest of the trail. We'll see. So that's coming along. I'm gonna have her send it to me. I don't know, probably can't meet Kennedy Meadows as well. And of course, I'm not gonna go to Lone Pine, so this will come along. This is a ice axe. I don't know. Well, I'm not going to bring this part with me. So this is just there for when I'm keeping it around here. But so this is what, uh, for those of you that don't know, this is what you use to basically you walk like this. If you, well, you walk like this, and if you slip and fall, you try to stick this into the ice so you don't slide off and go off a ledge or something. This part's all sharp, so when you're walking, you can actually stick it into the ice. And if it's deep enough it'll, and it's hard enough, it'll give you some support. And this part is actually to chip away steps on ice. Odds are I won't ever have to do that just because there's going to be so many people walking ahead of me. They're going to lay flat some ice anyway. So, And this is a leash where you put your wrist around. I like this one. Because if it's up here, you can't swing it at all. And it goes up and down. And it does stop right there. So, anyway, that's what I'm bringing. It's heavier than the Corsa Ice Axe, but it feels so much more comfortable <laughs> if you hold it. It's all rounded over here. The Corsa is kind of sharp. I don't know. And I heard that this is steel right here. Whereas the shaft is aluminum, I heard the steel bites in the ice better. I don't know, most people never have to use it, but we'll see. And then the big one, the air canister. This is the Wild Ideas Laser. I got this one instead of Weekender because this is the same size as the Bear Vault 500. Now, <laughs> it's dirty already. Um, in case some of you don't know, in some parts of California, especially Yosemite, you have to use a air canister to put all your food, garbage, well, smelly garbage, and cooking utensils and things like that. Now, these require a quarter or a nickel or something like that to open it. Um, in case you don't have change, it's a good idea to go to the hardware store, bring a quarter with you, and then try to find washers that fit. And these, and then buy a washer, and then clip it onto your backpack, just as a backup. Because I don't know, if you don't have anything to open, this can be kind of annoying. So, bear canister. I believe it's 33 ounces. Hopefully, I don't lose it down a mountain or something. 
Now, this is one of my shoes with the mic or the crampons on. You'll notice both sides of the straps are still well below this portion, the edge of the shoe. Now, some crampons will actually come up and have a loop around your foot. So, if you have trail runners on, there's a good chance it's just going to go over your socks and it could rub you, um, get a blister. So, I opted for these crampons. Um, you can still get them really tight, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I guess <laughs> you can get them tighter when you're actually wearing it and put it on. <laughs> you do this and you clip it in. Anyway. But uh, I like these because they go along the sides so that they won't rub against your feet at all. So it might crush. Well, the front is kind of curved right here, it's metal. Well, maybe not metal, it's plastic, but it's curved. So it's not going straight from here to there. So it does have a curve in it, so it doesn't crush your toe of your feet as well. And it fits really well. The micro spikes, they just go along the front and the back. Nothing too crazy. Just elastic. If you get them, make sure you get the right size because they do have come in different sizes. And you don't want to get one that's too large because it'll just slip off your feet. Here's the bottom. You'll notice where the spikes are. They're not very long. I think they are a quarter of an inch, half an inch. But you'll see there's two there, two there. There's more of them. There's a lot of them. But you'll also see there's nothing. Well, it's on all the way. But you'll see there's. There's nothing down here. It's all up here. And then there's two in the middle. Two more in the middle. These four are actually way out in the sides, but it's all on the ball of your feet. And the two little ones. Now compared to the crampons, down here, there's only just ten spikes here, but in the back, it's right against the back. And it's right Pretty much out to the sides. This one's out to the side. This one's out to the side. And this one's in the front. With like a tooth, so it helps you grip better. Now they are much longer as well, as you can see. Not super sharp. These have a little metal bracket in the middle, but they're flexible. So I'm sure I should probably put them on and show you. But, but they do flex. Uh, there you go. There you go. Like that. So it's not too bad. The here's a side by side if you can really see the difference. I found with these when there's wet snow, it sticks really well in all these chains clumps right in there and it makes your shoe so much heavier. I have not tried this in the snow at all, but supposedly this is supposed to help. Um, I was originally not going to decide till later and then with all the drought going on I thought, well I'm not going to need these at all, but then people are posting pictures of it snowing at Campo and it's snowing a lot up at, uh, well all over. So, I'll keep both of these in my box, and I'll decide which one I want later. A lot of people use the micro spikes, but I will be hiking by myself most of the time, even through the Sierra Nevadas, because I just like hiking by myself. So I might bring these just as an extra precaution. They are a lot heavier, but I don't know. See the spikes? I just like that there's more on the outsides. There's almost nothing over here. I use these in Rainier and they work fine. Except when they got really heavy, but... We'll see. I have a problem. I have two of these.
I don't remember which one I used for my pee bottle. Hmm. I guess they're both pee bottles now. There are two more items that my sister will be sending out to me. This is the Rav Power 26,800 milliamp hour battery with the power delivery USB Type C in. Charges at 30 watts, and this is a USB Type C charger. This one only has one Type C and a regular USB. A uh, an anchor one with multiple ports just got on sale. So, oh yeah, I forgot I had this on. So, an anchor one with multiple uh, ports just went on sale, so I ordered it. So, when I get it, I'm going to weigh it, and then I'll determine if I'm going to bring it based on the weight, because everything's about weight, right? So, this is, of course, 4.25 ounces. And, yeah, this is my Fitbit. I was moving and putting stuff into storage. And, anyway. Since I had this out and I have to fold it, I thought I'd go over how I fold it to get all the air out. Some people don't know how, but I'm sure most of you do, but if you know how, you could just shut it off. So, this one has two folds on it, so I just fold along. Nozzle's open, and I just kind of roughly fold it. I don't do anything really fancy. Get the air out, and you tighten it. Roll it out again. This is really the method you should use for uh, the self-inflating because it's harder to get all the air out that way if you just try to fold it once. So on the second time, if you try to keep it flat and straight, and then once you get to the top, open it up. Out the last of the air, tighten, and then you have a nice compact roll. The short one really <laughs> rolls up tightly, and I just use some shock cord. I don't use the bag because it's weighs more than this. And there you go. And this goes into my trash compactor bag with my sleeping bag. Look, it's my shoe. All right, first up. Trail runners. <laughs> no, it's the microspikes. Oftentimes, I usually have to shake them to figure out what's going on. And you'll see what side goes where. So, get the front part, slide the front part on first. And then it fights you because all the ribs in your shoes catches on the chains. So you kind of have to work with it and jiggle it a little after you're done. And there you go. Pretty easy to put on. They stay on pretty well. The only problem is if you're walking on rocks, it feels like you're walking on gravel all the time. Because these are kind of loose. So, fits pretty well though. It works. Nicely. To take them off, you just grab this little rubber part in the heel there and just kind of push it off. And that's it. And these are kind of easy to stow away because you can just kind of roll it up. And the rubber portions protect not all the teeth, but some of it. So it's pretty nice. Next up, there's no left and right on those. These have a left and right. They actually say right right there. So you know this is right. This is closed, so you have to pull this up, slide it out, pull this up, slide it out. <laughs> pull this up. <laughs> slide it out, there you go. Now you gotta size these before you even try to put them on. There's these little things here. So you notice there's one hole. So you lift it. <laughs> These are in the way. <laughs> Get out of the way. Here's a little metal part right here. So if, when you lift this, you can slide it. See, now it's much longer for bigger, bigger feet. 
but I slid it way too far now it's not gonna fit me I found I like it nope <laughs> there you go I found I like it with one hole there for my size shoes now it's pretty easy to put on you just put on the front put on the back swing this around slide it through And then slide this through. It's a little harder than Marco spikes, of course. Then you just pull these ends, and then you have these little string things, and it kind of ratchets it down. So you pull on both sides. Until it's snug, but not crushing your feet. Now, this is all rubber, and the little ratchets connect to here. I don't know how long these are going to last before they wear out, but that's it. And then you got these crazy walking things on. Oop. <laughs> and you could poke holes in carpet, but that's it. Pretty easy. And to take them off, you have the two clasps here. Pull. Pull. And then it angles out, comes right off. I think it's easier to take off the micro spikes. Then you gotta like figure out how you're gonna put it away so you don't stab your deer with it, poke holes and everything. I guess if you're gonna bring these, make sure you have Cuban fiber repair tape with you for your backpack. How do these go on? Oh yeah, there you go.